Hi, everyone. Thanks for coming today. And I hope you enjoyed that six minute journey through the Jezero crater, which is located on Mars. My name is Brona, and I'm a composer and a sound artist. And I'd like to introduce you to my new friend, the Eco Loudspeaker. I've been working with the Eco Loudspeaker for about three years. And what I love about it is it makes us think of the loudspeaker as an instrument and not just a speaker in the corner of your room that projects sound. We can really think about this as an instrument. The Eco allows composers and sound artists to create site specific works which respond to the architecture and the materiality of unique spaces and places. The portability of this speaker means we can bring it into lots of different exciting spaces that have unique arch architecture, um, spaces that are outside of conventional performance spaces. The Eco projects beams of sound out of its 20 speakers. So it's one unit, it has 20 faces, and it projects the sounds as beams. But what is interesting about is what happens to the sound once it leaves the speaker? Where does it go? And that all depends, of course, on the acoustics and the architecture of the building. So for example, in the studio, we have a lot of, um, we have a lot of curtains and absorbent materials. But I'm using this fabulous VP production screen as a reflector panel. So when the sounds leave the eco, they are bouncing off and reflecting from the reflector panel and hopefully throughout the space. And what's great then is that the audience can perceive sounds that are moving away from the speaker. We know that this sound we know that this speaker is emitting the sound. It's pretty obvious. You can't miss it. It's here. But what's really interesting is that sometimes you could be sitting there looking at it, but you can almost reach out and grab sound objects when you hear sounds over here or perhaps over here or in a different part of the room. I'm a composer and a sound artist and for this project, I created this response to the images we just saw. The images were created by 3D sound artist Maria Manastirino, and she got height maps from NASA, which allowed her to create an accurate topography of the Jezero crater, which is on Mars. So you get an accurate depiction of the hills in this landscape. I then had to respond to this project. And it is quite difficult to create a piece of music that reflects a place that you've never been to. And I'm a, I do a lot of field recording, and I create works that respond to a specific place. You know, the, the work could be about a particular forest. And I can go there and I can listen, spend loads of time listening and absorbing the sounds and getting to know that place. But I can't go to Mars. So I use my imagination. And that's what we do. Creative people, we can use our imagination. Some of the sounds you heard are also from NASA. And they were recorded by the Perseverance ro rover, which landed on Mars in May 2021. And it had a camera with microphones and recorded those sounds. And I was able to download them from NASA for free. This stuff is open source, which is really fantastic. And I downloaded um, the sounds and I listened to them. And they're from the perspective of the rover, because the microphones are on the rover. So some of the sounds that you heard include a laser zapping on rocks, going tap, 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 tap. And what I've tried to do is, it's on the speaker, but I've tried to move it around so it reflects off the screen. And you can hear this kind of detail just sprinkled at, on top of the other tonal, more static material. 
The other material then you can hear is the movement of the rover itself as it's moving along the terrain. What I've learned from working with this speaker is I continue to develop my listening skills. You put sounds on this speaker, but you don't know what's going to happen until you bring it into a space and you learn and you hear and you have to listen to try and understand, well, if I put a specific sound on this loudspeaker, how's it going to behave in this space? So you're listening and listening all the time. And that might be kind of a very obvious statement to make, but there are different levels of listening. And I just feel that I'm really now aware of the acoustics of the different environments that I perform in compared to perhaps you know, working with a 5.1 system where you can easily place sound in the front left speaker or the front right speaker or in the rear behind you if you want sounds to come from behind you. But if you want sounds to come from behind you with this loudspeaker, you have to think a little bit more about the space and the environment you're in and also the sound materials that you are using. Listening is so important and I'm sure all of you in this room can probably tell me what the sound of your front door sounds like. Is it creaky? Is it loud? Is it one of those doors you kind of have to hold on to just so it doesn't make a load of noise? And sound communicates a lot. You can also tell from the way the door closes, perhaps the mood of the person that closed the door. <laughs> Did they leave the room and bang it because they were annoyed with you, maybe because you got home late and decided to make beans on toast at night? Or did they close it really quietly because they knew that you needed your sleep? So think about that when you go home. Think about all the sounds in your house and how listening is so important to all of us. Alongside the sounds from NASA, I also spent a lot of time on the floor playing with rocks, rock material, and doing close mic techniques. And this is really fun. You should try it. <laughs> Um, but it's playing with this material and understanding the different sounds that different types of rocks make. Large, small, porous, hard rock, and using them as sonic materials and rubbing them against each other and playing with them in your hand. And I've used those materials to reflect the landscape of Mars. We can see that there is a lot of rock. So going forward, it's so exciting to see the visuals being projected from this screen. And you're going to see amazing visuals today. But let's not forget of the importance of sound. The sound is there to enhance what's happening on screen. And it's also there to evoke emotion within the audience. So don't forget about the sound. Thank you so much for listening and enjoy the rest of the talks. Thank you.